Hi, this is Chetan Bhagat and you are watching uh, the best site on the planet, BollywoodHangama.com. A noted journalist Anuradha Sen Gupta has tweeted that happy to say two states is a charming, subtle and funny modern romance and it works because it stays true to the book. Chetan Bhagat Roar and we have with us Chetan Bhagat himself. A uh, huge pleasure to have you back on Bollywood Nama and congratulations for the phenomenal look. Thank you, thank you. It's been called the biggest hit of uh, 2014. Uh, yeah. How does that feel? Uh, it's quite unexpected, you know. Mm. We uh, we thought we it's, it will do reasonably well, but mm. um, with the star cast being newcomers and mm. the debut director, we thought it'll do reasonably well, but we mm. never thought it'll be the biggest hit of 2014 or the kind of numbers that I'm hearing now. Mm. So it's all thanks to your viewers and uh, and, and I, of course uh, Abhishek Verman, the new director who sure. just made a great film. Arurada says that uh, it stays true to the book. There are other people like there are, there are reviewers who have, who have said that uh, Verman much like a good schoolboy, sticks to the novel without really adding his own creative inputs. Bhagat's book is no classic to demand that kind of reverence. Two point of views completely. Yeah. Some people are liking the fact that it is it, it is staying true to the book and which is, which is why they are liking the book. But there are others who are saying that uh, he's being a schoolboy and just just just. just <laughs> I don't. The book I, I think that's being very high-handed, right. and I, mm. I don't think he's being a schoolboy at all. Mm. In fact, he's added a lot to the book. If mm. you look at the treatment of the story, I mm. think if you look at the book is in English, but mm. the, all the dialogues, all the Tamil, all the Punjabi is all coming from where? It's mm. coming from Abhishek's interpretation. The aesthetics of the movie, the emotional, a lot of the uh, scenes are done in silences. Uh, the quietness, the background score. I think all those things are also creative inputs. And I think mm. the director decided that I love the material I have. Right. And I don't want to change it. And that's his view. Mm. I mean, you, if you give it to 50 people, they'll do it differently. Right. I didn't tell him to do it that way. He, he wanted to stick to the material. Uh, two States is definitely not a classic, but it is also a book that millions of people love. Like there mm. are one crore readers. Even now, there are some things which he has actually shot also, but because in the edit they got left out. But some people ask, why is that scene not there or why is that scene not there? So it's mm. not true that people don't want that. But I think in an adaptation process, it's okay to change things. I co-wrote screenplay for Kai Poche. I mm. changed my own book. Mm. But in this case, Abhishek really liked the material and he wanted to be really, really true. To the point that even the minor character names, everything is from the book, which I think is very special, right. which is thing is honoring the the source material. Mm. But he has given something amazing. That is why such numbers are coming. If it was just a boring interpretation, it wouldn't be there. For example, the end ma marriage sequence, which mm. I have seen in the theater, almost everyone is in tears, mm. whereas there is no dialogue in that. So that is coming from Abhishek's interpretation only through visual. Right. So he doesn't have to change the plot to prove that he is being creative. You spoke about the the Kai, Pouch, Kai Poche bit that uh, you yourself were part of the screenplay and you yourself changed a bit. Many people, uh, many of your readers would, would like to would like to believe that uh, maybe uh, the intensity that that the that the book had, uh, Three Mistakes of My Life, somehow it gets diluted in the. In the book, we don't get to see what what, what really in the uh, film, yeah. the, the sort of st uh, take that you have uh, taken. Yes, in the, I in think the book. so, for because you know it is uh, different when I'm writing a book; it's solely me. Mm. When they are making a movie, there is a production house, there is a direction. So I may have a political point to make, but they mm. they need not share that view or they need not want to express that view in their product. But so your readers may feel that it's like a tamer, I, tamer version of what you've, what you've maybe, written somehow. Maybe mm. they felt. But it was still pretty mm. uh, uh, gritty because uh, it was Abhishek gritty Kapoor. Gritty crimes actually. <laughs> yes, because I think Abhishek Kapoor tried to make it quite gritty but it is a commercial format. So sure. we don't want to scare people and we mm. don't want to uh, make a movie that people don't enjoy in the theatre. Mm. You know, it's, it's a balance which Abhishek tried to do. But yes, if you want something more uh, intense and more on the the political situation involved in the movie, then the book is available. But yes, if the movie didn't do that, that was not what the intention was only. It's not like it was, uh, it was not, never the intention. Abhishek Kapoor made rock on him. He liked the story because of the friends. Mm. He didn't have any political interest in the story.